Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 6 for our Paul Alto Panorama series. So we are going to continue uh, from our previous video which was to set up the panorama. So I will highly recommend you to please watch day 5 and then come to day 6. Okay. And what I will do is I will link the video in the i button or you can check the description box for that particular video link. Okay. Now in this video, I'll be covering what is device group, how we are going to create device group in Panorama, how to create address object policies and push that particular configuration to the firewall. So this is very, very important. Why it is important? I'll tell you during the uh, videos, because when you are setting up the Panorama in your organization from scratch, it is too important to understand the device group. What is the role of the device group? You should know then only you will be able to deploy the panorama in your environment and you can understand the requirement of that. Okay, so I'll highly recommend you to, to please watch this video till the end so that you can understand these uh, device groups, object creation and device group creation and you can use it in your practical uh, deployment of panorama as well as in in your interviews as well and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me so without any further delay let's get started friends now we'll understand what is device group with the help of this pictures okay now last time we have understood what is template now we are going to understand what is device group okay so basically in template the device settings will be there so the interface zone vlans uh, ha admin roles and all those things was there but how the device should process the traffic okay which can be a policy which can be a utm policy or profile or maybe or what is the object service object everything related to device processing this is device setting right so basically why we create device group is because we need to provide or we need to configure the devices with policy profiles object group and all those things okay so this is the difference between the template and the device group now you guys need to tell me why we have created these two why we have device group and why we have template please comment in the comment section if you know the answer otherwise i'll do it in some days so now friends we'll move on to the lab and we'll configure device group in panorama and uh, we will create an object like in device group we we can create address address group so we'll create an object and we'll push it to the firewall and we will see into the lab so let's head to the lab now so friends uh, we'll go to the lab now and uh, we are following the same lab which we have taken for day five so we are just continuing that so uh, we have divided uh, all the firewalls based on the locations so as you can see and we have a panorama and this is connected to our management uh, network and all these firewalls are connected through the management interface right now what is the task we are going to create an object for this subnet okay so every site has their own subnet so we are going to create this objects and in the panorama and we are going to push it to all the firewalls this is the task and we need to create a device group that's all so these are the two tasks that we need to perform so let's log into panorama and see how it works so friends uh, this is our panorama dashboard and to create a device group we have to go to panorama first okay we have to select device group and we have to add it now the device group you have to create a name and you can put uh, the name which will be related to that site 
so for an example i'm just putting for india so india uh, device group okay dg okay now i'm selecting polo alto 1 because in the diagram the polo alto 1 is for india side right and uh, basically what happens i cannot assign the same name i cannot put the india site over here so it will it will get conflict so that is the reason i'm not putting here and now we have to select the firewall here and we have to maybe this is an optional you can select this template or not okay now here i'm going to select the india stack why because once you select the template whatever the zone that you have created in this template while creating the policy into this device group you'll get that particular option okay now i'll show you one more thing now here you are seeing the template right you are not seeing any other option but once i click ok you will be seeing an extra tab which is for policy and object right so once you create any device group you will get this option okay so once we have created the template we have got these two options and once we create the device group we'll get these options right so now we are going to create for all the sites okay I'll be doing for all the sites and I'll stop the video and once it is done I'll start the video again so friends I have created all the device group here now you must be thinking what is shared group shared group is nothing but for your understanding it is a global device group okay so whenever you create anything on this shared that will get replicated to all the devices okay now for a better management let's say you have some location in india which is something called as tele okay now you can add that particular device group into this one so this device group will become parent group of delhi okay so this is you can this is how you can add as per the locations okay so this will become the parent one same way for all this location this is the parent one which is known as a global shared device group something like that you can you can think about that okay so friends uh, as we have created the device group we'll go to the object and we'll create an object okay so there are so many objects that you can create but i'm just creating an address group okay so now in this we have sites and we are going to create the subnets for all the sites okay now when we add a address so there are few options that is available okay basically two one is shared one is non-shared okay once you select shared these object basically get replicated to all the device group which is there in the shared group so shared group is a global group right i told you before okay so whenever you select this it will be created to all the devices but in case if you are not selecting it in that case it will only be configured to this device group okay so what i'm going to do is i'll take one object as a shared one and the rest of object with the non shared one and i'll show you how exactly it works okay so i'll take an object of india site right and i'll make this one as a shared one okay so 192 10.0 slash 24 right and we'll just click ok ok now we'll create other groups like other objects so right now it is on USA so we'll just create a object for USA site right so for USA what is the subnet which is 30.0 so uh, 192 168 30.0 slash 24 right click ok I am not making this one as shared so the location of this object is USA right 
now i will go to uk and i will create this one right so uk site right now i'm not making this one as a shared one so so uk has 20.0 so 192 168 68 20.0 slash 24 right click ok now i'll go to the australia and i will add it as australia site right and i'm not making this one as also as not shared one okay so 192 168 40.0 slash 24 right and i'll just click ok now i have created the sites only the india site as a shared one and for other one as a specific location object okay and i am going to commit this one commit and the push okay so i'll do a commit and push so let it commit and then i'll uh, for now i'll just stop the video and i'll start it once it is commit is successful okay so friends as you can see the commit is successful now and i will go to each of the firewall right now we'll go to the polo alto one which is a india site okay now this is a it will it should reflect to all the devices okay so if i refresh this i am getting india as well as uk because i uk i have created specific to that particular site so this one also this this one also this so this means that whenever you create any shared object it will get reflected to all the devices right now i'll tell you what exactly happens in the production environment okay so basically whenever we create any objects we create in the shared one okay uh, basically why we do that because let's say if i want to create any policy okay so i can put all this okay let's say somebody from australia wants to access usa or uk or india so if i have that particular object i can create it and i can deploy it okay in case of if i want to create a policy again i have to create an object and i have to add it into that particular device group so it creates lot of problem okay in case if you are not able to understand if it is if it is looking very confusing leave it i'll uh, i'll cover that in the practical like when we configure this creating policy i'll be covering this informations as well okay so uh, this is what i wanted to cover in this i wanted to cover i wanted to let you know about uh, this device group okay and uh, in the upcoming part we are going to cover the policy and the nat policy okay providing internet uh, access to all the sites and this video will be uh, the next part which is nothing but a part 3 okay and there are a lot more things that I need to cover in panorama and uh, which I am going to cover so don't need to worry about that and this is what I wanted to cover in this video and uh, thank you so much for watching if you have uh, learned something new please hit the like button please do a comment and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.